Hey guys, it's uh, Shannon again here. So pleased to be with you. Um, I'm just going to break off into prayer before I do this little, I'm not going to exactly call it a Bible study per se. It's just um, some of my collective thoughts and questions I like to ask because I know, notice a lot of people, um, <laughs> not a lot of people, but a few people are taking what I'm saying out of context. And things like that. So I just, um, usually when I'm asking questions to people, I had one person unsubscribed. Um, no worries. Uh, God bless you. Take care of you. Do what you got to do. Um, but the thing is, um, when you're, uh, I'm seeing that a lot of people are just very sensitive. So I want to explain that people, um, I'm, I'm, just give me a second. I'm going to get all my thought process together because I just, it's so much information for me, but, um, it's, you know, no harm feelings, no harm, no foul, but, uh, I just want to do this little quick revert on, um, on lukewarm Christians. I said I was going to do a video on that, um, earlier. So I'm just trying to do that. And, uh, I'm getting all these distractions, so, and forgive me if you guys hear some kids in the background, it's a little late, I let them stay up a little later on the weekend so they can have, you know, um, but let me break into prayer, dear Heavenly Father, um, who art in heaven, we uh, thank you for strengthening us, uh, leading us, protecting us, and we ask for your, um, your continual protection father protection over our finances our health our mental health our physical health our heart lord give us a mind for you eyes for you and um ears for you so that we may hear your words use me as a living vessel to um uh, to do whatever you want lord um in jesus name okay um okay where do i start <clears throat> it's funny because as many times as I've done this, I still don't like public speaking that much, even if it is just a few people. Uh, but my question, what I like to normally do when I'm researching or things, because I love to research. Um, that's one of the characteristics of a prophet. Some prophets love to research and read. Um, the thing is, a lot of people are saying that... Uh, you know, once saved, always saved. And that's fine if you think that way. That's fine if, um, you know, that, that that's fine and everything. I'm not trying to refute that. If that's how you came to the Lord, um, I don't know per se. Anytime we're dealing with the Lord and we're dealing with um, how to build our faith and our belief and our, what, which doctrines to believe in, we need to go with the, the safest route. When we go with the safest route, um, which is the cause of salvation, uh, believing he died on the cross, virgin birth, repentance of sin, um, the resurrection. When you stick with those, you can never go wrong. But when people are saying that you can't lose your salvation um, and you can't lose your salvation, I just want to ask that question. It's not whether I believe you can or you can't. I believe that... Um, I believe you can turn away from God and I believe that you can place a bit of uncertainty about uh, your next life. I mean, where you're going after this, heaven or hell, because you um, because I believe that you can lose your salvation because. I mean, if you don't do the work, that's net, the spiritual work. I'm not saying any works that man should boast or anything like that, but I'm talking about the spiritual relationship. And that's one of my jobs um, to the body of Christ is to kind of fill in be, with this thought, this wonderful thought process the Lord gave me, try and fill in the, the gaps here by asking um, wonderful questions. So when we're talking about lukewarm uh, Christians, you know, and what brought me to this is because my mom, all of the uh, the um, all of the uh, 
confusion and all of the war in the Middle East right now, which I had prophesied and I had prophesied correctly saying that there would be war in the Middle East. And now I'm seeing how war is going to be brought um, to America when Biden brings the troops on in September 11th. I have to do a Lady Gaga video later. But um, September 11th um, and 9-11 is very significant. Those are the numbers I'm getting lately. So the Lord wants me to do, um, he wants me to do something on that. He's, I have to go down the rabbit hole. And uh, that's how I'm building my relationship with Jesus through me reading the word from for the assignments he gives me and things like that. So that's, that's, that's you know, my way. I mean, uh, yeah. But I'm basically asking the question, can lukewarm Christians still um, inherit salvation? Because, I mean, people want to talk about dispensationalism. I am the dispensationalism queen. If you guys don't know what dispensationalism is, it's putting the date. I mean, it's putting the people with the time. Um, you know, like, um, it's putting people with the time because, because throughout the Bible, the God is talking to certain people at certain times and he's talking to certain groups in different places at certain times. Believe me, I know I've studied dispensationalism. I'm a good fan. It really helped me understand some things and that's fine. But when people are making assumptions that, you know, I'm not even going to say that. It's not an assumption because we really don't know by, I can tell by our answers that we really don't know. We're not really sure whether or not you can lose your salvation. But I'm just going to kind of, I want to kind of go down this rabbit hole with you guys, um, my process and things as to what, um, how can we get closer to the answer? Because we may never know the, all of the answers and things. The, uh, not everything is in the Bible and actually says that. So, but we can do is that we can get kind of a better idea. And I love to take the safest route. The safest route is what's best for me. Um, but Luke Warren Christians, this is, I was talking to someone and they were talking about, uh, lady, Ladisians, um, Ladisians, and they were saying, "Oh, you, you know, that was just for the Church of Ladisians, and that we're not supposed to um, follow all of this red right here." That the G, because I know that you're not supposed to apply everything, every point to the Bible. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna make some sense because some uh, things were back when the tour or the uh, Tarot or Tarot or whatever the book was called, um, you know, um, you know, things for different people and things, different ages and things. But this this lukewarm right here is in is in Revelation. Revelation is for all the churches. It's for all the churches, uh, uh, Philadelphia, Little Sia, all of that stuff. Right. That's for all of us. That's for the future tense. Right. All right. Got that out of the way. Good. Now, um, when you're, they're saying, now what I want to ask people is, um, what happens? People are saying that, uh, this reference doesn't have anything to do with salvation, but I believe that it does. It says, I could wish you were cold or hot. So then because you are lukewarm and neither cold or hot nor hot, I will vomit you out of your mouth, vomit you out of my mouth. Now, when we vomiting something, regurgitating something, we're taking something out of ourselves and it's going on the floor, the toilet or whatever. Right. So this is what God does to the um, this is what God does to the church of uh, Lodician. OK. And I believe that's like an actual place or whatever. And so um, but we can apply that to the whole people. It, that apply that to the whole book of uh, Revelation because it is found in Revelation. So because I'm applying that when we're vomiting something out, it's no longer in Christ. And if I mean, if he's vomiting out what's inside of him, he can't stomach it is being thrown out and out of him. So if Jesus, you're not in Jesus and if Jesus is not in you, then where do you go? How do you, you know, 
So, yeah, that's what I want to know. And just a second. You know, it says that, and a lot of people will give me this verse, He, you know, John 3, 16, you know, he so loved the world that he would send his only begotten son, um, you know, um, here. And he did. He really did. The Lord really did. Um, but you, uh, you can't say, not that you can't say, you can't serve two masters. We can also apply that here because the Lord, because he was talking about when you can't serve two masters. That's I uh, thank you, Holy Spirit. That's what I wanted to put this in coordinates with is that you cannot serve two masters. And what is lukewarm? Lukewarm's in the middle. It's neither hot nor cold. So if you're in the middle, God don't like like you know, you you know, you gotta choose ye this day who you will serve. Because you can't have two masters. You cannot have two masters. Now, um, I have a really, uh, I love, what's her name? Watch Woman 65. Um, and she talks about, uh, I love her so much. I don't necessarily agree with everything that she's saying because it's just a misunderstanding. It's just really a misunderstanding because um, you do have a spiritual work here. And a lot of times we feel unfulfilled. We feel like we're not uh, doing we're not living in our purpose and thing is because we're not living in God's will and his purpose for us. Um, but the, another question I wanted to ask, if you're a lukewarm Christian, are you really a Christian? That's a, that's, are you really, I mean, well, I guess you are because it says right here, you know, you're, you're a lukewarm Christian. Okay. But um, let's read the next page and let's see what happens to lukewarm Christians. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in fire that you may be rich and, wh and white garments and that you may be clothed that the shame of your nakedness may not be revealed and anoint your eyes with eye salve and you... That you may see, I'm sorry, as therefore be zealous and repent, be, <laughs> behold, I stand at the door and knock if anyone hears my voice. Well, why is Jesus knocking? Why is he telling you to knock after he, he just regurgitated you out? If he just regurgitated the lukewarm Christians out, that means that you're no longer in um you're no longer in Christ because you can't because you haven't decided which side you haven't decided which side um and I see a lot of this going on this is going on with my very own mother right now I'm sorry you know um it really just brings me back to having a relationship with the Lord, because I believe that your initial I believe that it's not just believing on Christ. And being uh, uh, washed by the blood is not only that um, in the five quarters of salvation, re resurrection, repentance, virgin birth, um, uh, virgin birth. A lot of people take that. You know how many people who are even not even um, lukewarm Christians who will say that I'm saved by, you know, I'm just saved and that's it. They just stopped at that. And that's what really, um, that's really, really gets me because I'm just like, there's, what about knowing God, knowing how he speaks to you, speaks back to you because we're, we're doing a lot of talking, but we're not, because I think the problem with atheists is that atheists don't, understand that the Lord can speak back to them because atheists and a lot of lukewarm Christians are expecting God to come from the, you know, come out of the sky with thunder and all of that stuff when he's speaking to you. No, God is going to meet you at your level as a human and break it down in human level context to which you need for what you can understand. And it was just very upsetting. I was having um, a talk with my mother. Okay, but um, I'm sorry, my son's autistic, so I gotta, uh, yeah, I was having a talk with my mother, and my mother was talking about, 
um, how as this woman literally said, I was like, okay, so Biden's getting ready uh, to uh, stop. Um, this all started when my good friend sent me an article saying that Biden is getting ready to uh, take their hands off of um, Israel and stop aiding Israel. And that's a big no, no, big no, no. And upon doing this is when I believe that um, war will come to American shores. I've already prophesied this, that we would uh, see war in America. And I've already prophesied that this is we're within, either we're within or the beginning of the 1,260 days with the 1335 um, from uh, Daniel's, what is it, the 70-week prophecy? I've done a whole thing. But, um, yeah, and she was basically, my mom was basically telling me, oh, you know, what is it about the Palestinians and the Israel uh, Israelis are killing the Palestinians and killing little babies? And so I had to tell my mom, wait a minute. So we should stop giving aid when the Lord has specifically has told us, I will bless whoever blesses you, Israel, and I will curse whoever curses you, Israel. And this grown 70, almost 70 something year old woman had the nerve uh, who calls herself a Bible believing Christian can say that, um, you know, I, I think that we should not support Israel. Because um, all of the pa killing they do in Palestine. And me personally, I have friends in Palestine who are over there now. I have, uh, I have friends who are Israelis and things like that. And from what they tell me is that the Israeli people and the Palestinian people do not have a problem. It is the government. Okay, and she, you know, she's just sipping a little too much of the CNN juice. I don't have a political um, preference. I just think that time is drawing near and that we, um, we need to ask ourselves and, uh, ask ourselves the 12, the, the, well, not ask ourselves, but ask God the tough questions, um, to get further more down it. But, um, so, <laughs> you know, I'm just, I'm trying to stick back here to my passion because it's so much with the body of Christ that plagues me. Uh, <laughs> My God, people getting their feelings hurt. It's like I'm not I everyone can step all over my feelings, but I'm not allowed to hurt anyone else's feelings. So I you know, I don't understand this sensitive way of thinking. I think that the whole world has let so much slide and then we wonder and look around why things is crap. It don't make no sense. But um I just wanted to say that pretty much I have to do a Lady Gaga video um, about 9-11 because if you look at all my videos, they've been telling us 9-11, 9-11, 9-11 in the, in the uh, my music video um, reactions and things. You guys can go check that out. But, um, you know, this is still, I believe that you can still, I'm not sure. I'm not even going to say I believe. I'm just going to say that I um, I'm not sure whether or not you can lose your salvation, and I'm not sure that um, lukewarm Christians will inherit the kingdom of God because, you know, it's a two-way street. Some people aren't going to agree with that. Some people will agree with that, you know, but basically, it, oh, and it says this, you know, who has an ear to hear, let him listen. The spirit says to the churches, the churches, more than one. So it's, um, you know, we got to, uh, we got to get it together, folks. Don't be offended if I'm writing things in the comment or I'm asking you questions. I'm not trying to offend you. It is not in my nature. I don't have, I almost don't have a prideful bone in my body because the Lord made me that way. I asked the Lord to make me that way. And over a seasons, I have recognized that, okay, maybe I just don't have pride because, I'm not trying to boast or anything, but I just see that a lot of people um, are Christians and it's like they took the moral compass out of the whole Christian walk. You took the moral compass that says that, um, you know, I shouldn't listen to my inner Jesus consciousness because. Um, you know, I'm going to inherit the kingdom anyway, because I don't have any spiritual work to do. All I need to do is just call on Jesus and be saved. But 
you know, um, I'm going to go deeper into that because I believe you need this relationship. You need a relationship with Christ. And the only way you can, can truly get it is if by reading his word, understanding the assignments and mantles and anointings he has placed on your life. And you can't do that if you're in um, a threefold household where they don't believe that people have spiritual gifts, where they don't believe people um, uh, can talk to God where God talks back because he is talking. He does talk back. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to say that. But uh, if uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't. And thank all of you 47 subscribers who did subscribe. Thank you so much for getting the the um, exposure for God. You will be blessed and uh, well received. And we thank you so much. All right. Good night.